the Les Sagittarius, this is you versus them for April 1st through April 15th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's see. Sagittarius, past issues. Four of Wands. A lot of people have been getting this card. I feel like um, you guys just didn't feel like you know there was any security. Um, you didn't feel happy. I feel um, maybe like you guys were not a family. Okay, didn't function like a family. Weren't there for each other. I'm also feeling like there were some trust issues here as well. What was the other person's issues? What's the other person's issues? The sun. You guys are kind of reflecting the same energy of not, you know, truly being happy. Um, maybe there was not enough activity going on. You guys didn't spend a lot of time together, like going out and having fun, that sort of thing. Um, I'm getting like there there was a level of boredom in this connection hmm. what's keeping Sagittarius from this person what's keeping Sagittarius from this person the five of wands yeah the conflict the fact that you guys can not get along can ever agree to disagree um, like there's always bickering there's always fighting you know um, and that's the kind of activity I feel like you're not interested in <laughs> I mean you know you guys like to you know have fun and go out but it's like you know all that fighting and that sort of thing that negative energy you're just not with it okay <clears throat> What's keeping this person away from Sagittarius? The Eight of Wands. I'm getting that this person feels like you guys like to go a little too much. Okay? They may feel like you guys are actually, you know, uh, talking to different people or were talking to different people. Um, maybe they felt like you're, you guys, you know, you weren't really growing and changing. Okay, kind of staying stagnant, not progressing. Hmm. Let's see what's currently going on for Sagittarius. What's currently going on for Sagittarius? I'm getting that you guys, they feel like you guys were all about yourselves here. Nine of Pentacles. I see you guys working on yourselves. I see it. Mm -hmm. I think you're good right now just being, you know, single, honestly. I'm feeling you guys are living your best life. You may be communicating with other people. You may be dating, you know. Maybe, you know, you felt kind of, you know, held down with this person. Maybe you guys just weren't that ready to be committed. There was something that would, the happiness was not, you know, here. I feel like you guys probably felt that there was like this really strong grip on you guys. Like your freedom um, was at stake. Couldn't be yourself. Felt tied down. Hmm. of cups here for this person this person may have gotten into another relationship um, one that they feel like is um, a little more fulfilling a little more committed um, happy currently this person is is feeling pretty good okay what's influencing Sagittarius what's influencing Sagittarius the hermit I think you kind of rethinking things about this whole commitment thing, okay? I think you've had some time to like be by yourself and and really get to know yourself and what it is that you want. And I think that um, you know you're kind of revisiting this 
idea of being committed in this relationship. I feel like you guys are looking for your path, the one Virgo energy here and here. Um, Aries and Leo is here as well. Piscean energy is here. But I get that um, you guys are about ready to settle down now. Okay. What's influencing the other person? The Queen of Wands. Mm. This person is pretty happy. Um, I feel that this is an attractive individual. This is somebody that is probably sought after. Okay. A business owner, a go-getter, takes care of their family, takes care of everybody, to be honest with you, and they do it with a smile on their face, whoever this individual is. I'm getting that um, they are very fiery in nature, um, also very emotional. Hmm. What was the problem here, Sag? Let's see. What's coming in for Sagittarius? Maybe you guys just weren't ready at the time. What's coming in for Sagittarius? The Three of Cups. Mm. I feel like this is all about reconnecting, reuniting, turning your back on dating. I feel. I'm feeling that a lot of you guys probably are ready to actually settle down when before um, you thought you were. I'm getting that you thought you were ready to settle down before and things just did not um, work out in the way that you planned and it created a lot of arguments between you and the other individual um, who was looking for change and growth in this connection. I think a lot of you guys are ready now. Hmm. What's coming in for the other person? Got two cards there. Oh, they're ready to start dating. They're ready to start dating. They're over the hurt here. And they're going after what they want. Definitely. They've healed. They've taken some time to themselves. And I feel like this person is completely happy. You know, they have a personal um, happiness right now, honestly. I don't think this has anything to do with a relationship. I think this is all about them, okay, feeling happy inside. And now that they have healed and they're feeling happy inside, they are definitely ready for a relationship. And I see this person, um, you know, going and getting whatever it is that they want. Dating. Just going for it. Okay. The Queen of Wands, the Knight of Cups energy there. Whatever they feel like they want, they're not going to stop until they get it. Whoever this is. What is the advice? for Sagittarius, the chariot, keep moving, keep moving forward, keep moving forward, you're going, you're going the right direction, I feel like you're doing the right thing, you're on the right track, keep moving forward. Okay, because I feel, I see the chariot looking back at the hermit, and I'm feeling there's a cancer energy here as well, but this is the house of partnership. Um, I feel like you guys are going in the right direction. The advice is to keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Keep following your intuition. Keep following your intuition here. Hmm. What's the advice for the other person? What's the advice for the other person? One more time. Advice. Six of Swords. 
there's two people in the six of swords this is all about <clears throat> getting past the hurt and moving on there's two people there though this is discussing things openly as well in order to move on that this situation you know what I'm getting from this is that the advice for this person would be because I see they're they've healed and they're ready to receive so the advice would be to let go let go of the betrayal let go of the disappointment if there's something that needs to be discussed in the situation, if they want to move on, you know, with you guys, then and be successful, then this is opening up and being um, welcoming, being open to receive, moving on together, and moving forward successfully together, being open to it. What's the outcome for Sagittarius? What's the outcome for Sagittarius? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This is all about moving forward successfully and getting exactly what you want. That you will feel successful in. With the Wheel of Fortune coming after the Chariot, which is coming after the Hermit, looking for your path and and your star and your soulmate, continuing to do so. Karma's at play. Something's getting ready to change in your situation. Something is getting ready to change in your situation, guys, okay? What's the outcome for the other person? What's the outcome for the other person? Oh, look at this. This is the Knight of Swords there. What was I saying about talking issues out? We've, we've healed from the hurt here. It's time to talk things out. This person is open to receiving. I feel like they definitely want to discuss something with you guys about moving on, about moving forward. And I'm feeling like they will open up if you guys will open up. Look at this Knight of Swords right there. The sword is down here. It's like they're not going to reveal everything and put all of their apples on the table or whatever you say okay but if there is an equal exchange I feel this person will definitely open up and it's not going to be aggressive see this knight is on foot okay it's not going to be an aggressive um, exchange it's not going to be an overactive exchange um, I think it's going to be a reciprocal exchange okay alright guys so Aquarius energy Scorpio, Libra, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Virgo, Cancer, energies here. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.